Carlos Diago, the founder of, and president of Softonic. So, there are more than a million apps out there, and we have the user discover and enjoy those apps. It's really difficult to find the best app for you, and Softonic is there to, to help you. And we have a, a team of editorial experts uh, working in 10 different languages to help you find the best app for you. And we also count on our user community to, to guide the users. Our goal is to, to, to help users identify the best application for, for them, no matter if they're using a PC, or they're using a smartphone, or they're using a tablet. We have uh, the best apps available for all the different platforms with editorial expert help and with a user, user community behind the, those applications that will help you decide what is the best for you. Well, we started in, in Spanish uh, when we saw that uh, there was a similar service uh, available in the US and we wanted to achieve a similar kind of service for the Spanish community. And at the end, we ended up, ended up being the number one in the world. And this, this company, which used to be the role model for, for Softonic, is now number two. Users uh, like new things, uh, there's nothing new about that. So every time we release a new product, we, we see a lot of interest in, in engaging with uh, that product. We, we recently launched uh, Softony for Windows, for example, which is like an app store for, for your PC. And we're going to launch uh, our new mobile version of Softonic, which will, um, will make the user uh, access, uh, will make the user be able to access our tablet version of Softonic and we will also launch a new, uh, a new smartphone version of Softonic. There are companies out there in the mobile space where they use use technology and community to, to make users discover apps and we, apart from that, we use uh, editorial content, news articles and app reviews to get, uh, to get the best app for you. Mobile is huge. Uh, we, it, we had 10% of the traffic uh, in year 2012 uh, coming from mobile, and now uh, on October we we have 25% of the traffic on our website coming from mobile. So we we see that the mobile is growing above of our expectations, and I believe it's going to grow even more our expect, expectations in the in the near future.